Hello everybody, we're back with another video and today I will be showing you how to make a Dead by Daylight video game. Well not game, like a game mode. So like if you want to publish this and do whatever you want with it, I'll be showing you how to do it. So let's uh, get this set up real quick. Alright, now yeah, as y'all can see we got the Fortnite Mare, like the uh, new new game mode with Midas. So since Midas is all back and all that, but okay. to the ground and I'm sure how to do it. So um first thing first you wanna like start on the map right like as you can see we got all of this stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this because I feel like what I want to make is a dock so as you can see we got a little something like this going yeah something like this now after you grab that what you want to do is like go into one of the galleries well, not, not the gun, they're going to the gallery because I want to do it quickly. So, as you see, what you want to do is like put down, like, no, no, like, what you want to do is put down some road at least. And to make it look better, just add like a couple props or something. Okay, as you can see, look, we got a little starting area here. Now you also gotta make stuff you can go inside of and hide in sometimes, but like not most of that work. So as you can see, and most you can go into yeah, in Dead by Daylight. If you heard of the game, most you can go into all of these places, like go inside places, turn on generators and all of that. Now, see now, look, we got a little tiny place here. Now, like on the next video when I make a, a part to this, you're gonna see the place expand a little bit from where it is now. So yeah, they're gonna expand. Now, as you can see, oh yeah, we can like duck under this and go in here. Now, as you, okay, now, you know what? All right, so as you see, we got this here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just expand this out a little bit, not as much, just a little bit. Like, like what you wanna do, like add like a little one of these. What you wanna do is add one of these. I feel like you should like add like one piece of road here and then like yeah, start again on it. Yeah, so like I'm gonna go all the way around here real quickly. Alright, there you can see as we got as we got like a little starting area here. Like players starting a random area. Okay. Now what you wanna do is go to devices and look for the tracker device, grab one of those, grab an objective device. And what else you want to grab is team and no, yeah, no. I'm sorry. Yeah, like you got some, you got one of those. You got these two devices. So how you gonna start the game off is you grab one of these. And this is just for team one. So like, you can put this anywhere because a player really ain't gonna see it. So just put this right here. And when you customize it, set start stat to track there. Like set this to five because like most of the time in the game set valid team one so like set it to team one or what team whatever team you want to get there. All right, okay. Targeting team, targeting team one. Okay, track tracker title. Now you should say generators. Um, like destroy. Yeah. Generators destroyed. Okay, let's just say generators turn turn on. Okay, as you see, that they say generators turned on. As you can see, it says increment progress when receiving from one channel one. As you can see, and it's gonna say you know like all that. So there. Now when you do that, so which means from channel one, when you break it, it'll and you gotta say increase target value. Yeah, increase target value when see from channel one. Now that is done. So now what you wanna do is like you go to the device setting. So like you gotta grab something like a generator, right? So I will confirm grab one of those. You can grab anything you want here, but I'm grabbing that. 
Like you can add more than one objective here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and place just one of them right about here, right? Just place one of them right here. Make sure it's not floating. Okay. Then configure this and make it so it has enough health. Like if I had to say give it in like two thousand health to make it so like you gotta like multiple people can come in, the blast radius is off. The only team that can only destroy this is one. Make sure that's the only team that can destroy it or in, or use it. So, so make sure it, it always hides the health bar. Okay, objective. Okay, turn that off. Okay. Okay, yes, yeah, so you should turn it on so like it'll know. Okay. All right, now as you can see, this is it got like all of that going. The beacon color will be red, but uh, hide health bar never. Wait a minute, three. Okay, you always hide the health bar. Okay, play audio effect. I feel like yes. Okay, warning when it gets to fifty percent. Okay, and say when destroyed, transmit on channel one. Right, as you can see. Now. Now we all have to have a starting point, like the whole team has to have a starting point. So what you want to do is like go over here, grab a player spawn. Wow, well, I'm gonna set one up right here and make sure you can't see it. And I'm gonna start the game, okay? As you can see, we have started the game. If you look up in the corner, it says generators turned on zero out of five. Like that thing's supposed to say remaining though, which means like this will be a certain amount. Now what you want to do is find a certain room with the generator and then destroy it like like so and I think I might have messed up on this a little bit because yeah as you can see that is legit oh my gosh I don't know what just happened but uh I think it's because I, I think I'm on like a different team so it ain't gonna like make let me destroy it I think that's the problem so let me just set, set it to team one real quick. All right there. Now I think I should be able to destroy it. Um, what else we want to do is mess up, go back to the tracker because I forgot about this. Sorry. It should share it to your team for one. And what else you should do is make it so it's remaining. Not it's not the total. It's just remaining. Okay, that makes it so you can destroy it. Blast rate is off. Okay, hold on. Now we will let you, we'll make it so y'all can see it. So like yeah. Okay, as you can see, there we got it. There, so you, so like if you get close enough to it, you'll be able to see it. So it's like one tile, which means like when you get close enough to it, you'll be able to see it at least. Yeah. I like see it. You can't see nothing. So like if you if you when you get close enough, you'll be able to start seeing it and all that. See, as you can see, we can't see nothing. We went around the whole building. And look, when you get close to it, then you can start seeing it. That'll make it easier for us, like the players. But you go in here, you still can't see it. But as soon as you get close enough, you start to see it. For some reason, you still can't destroy it. I don't know why. So, which means, I don't know why you can't destroy it. But uh, let me just figure this out real quick. Because you should be able to destroy it. I don't know why you can't. I can't believe this one, yeah. I don't even know how my character opened that door, okay? Yeah, for some reason, uh, it got a, it's not indestructible, I know that for sure. Okay, the beacon. No, there's no beacon. I don't know why, you, hold on, I feel like it's because of the team that, that's able to destroy it, though. I feel like that's the problem. Hold on, let me, I just figure out one real quick, one real quick thing here. Okay, owning team. I, I feel like it's because the team that owns it, you, they can't destroy it. Okay, yeah, there we go. So, chain color, which means now you should be able to destroy it. Okay, now let's try this again. I believe this should work this time. Okay, look, five generators are turned on. Five out of five generators are supposed to be, like, destroyed or turned on or whatever. Yeah, as I just said. 
Like you go over here and you just destroy it. And then as you do it, five out of six. Um, add one. Oh, I get it now. It's about to tell you how many are remaining, but it went up. It went up by one, so we're do we're making progress, but it's supposed to go down. So what we're so I think it's supposed to be on total. It's like either which one you would prefer. If you would prefer to go up or down, but I think it's supposed to be on like total. I believe I don't remember anymore. But yeah, team target value. Okay, channels. Okay, let me find the total thing where it says total. Hold on, I'm looking for about for some reason. Okay, remaining. Okay, I think it's like total. So I tell you how many you're supposed to break, and when the day hits five, it should complete it. All right, now let's look for it one more time. Okay, yeah, I think that's perfect. It says zero generators turned on. So yeah, go over here. Let's try to destroy it one more time. Okay, as you can see, it went one and six. See, the reason it went up to six is because it's the um. See, it's not supposed to increase the value. I forgot about that part, so I think it's only supposed to be like one channel. So if you're still watching from the end, please leave a like and subscribe if this was helpful. Okay. The next part, what you should do if you really want to make this next part, what you should do is go down to the channels where it says increment progress. Bring this down. It's an in increased target value when receiving from no channels and leave it on channel one and then start the game. And then, as you can see, we're about to do this one more time. You gotta turn on five generators and escape. Okay, as you can see, you walk up in here. Okay, like, just start destroying it a little bit. As you can see, I believe it went to one now. At least I think it went to one. I really can't tell. Oh, hold on. It's going to. I don't know if it went to one yet, but if it did, I'm so sorry because I have this little pop up on my thing. It just pops up randomly. Yeah, but okay, see, it went to one out of five. See, now that's good. See, it's supposed to do that one out of five. So since you just destroyed that, it goes to one out of five, which means it worked. Now, what we are going to do is make it so like, like all on Dead by Daylight games, there's always like a, um, there's always a way that, you know, like, we destroy five things, you got to go to the door and like hack it, it's going to activate something, but that's not what we're going to do. We're doing that next video, but... But what we are going to do, like, see these border party over here? Like, you're going to need places to hide from the killer, right? Just in case he comes to you, you're going to need places to hide from him. But if he sees you, like, like he's going to take you out of there and, like, you know. So what we are going to do today is this. See, now you can't get in him just like that, okay? So what you want to do is grab a button. You want you have to make sure your grid snap is off. I mean, it don't have to be off, including where you want to put it. Now put the button like right about on the middle and make this only team one can use it. So make it so the advent team is one. So your only team one can use it. Now put this one interactive transmit on channel two, right? Now what you are gonna do is when that thing interacts on channel two, what we are gonna do is make like a little area that you would hide in, like like see at this building, like what we're gonna do is hide you inside of this container, right? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Like, it's gonna send you to a different part of the map. So now what you wanna do is... Go over here and grab a teleporter. No, I'm just straight out for that. Put this in there. It says teleport to when receiving from channel 2. Which means that thing will teleport you. You gotta make sure to say teleport rift visible, no. And play visible, no. And make sure the sound not visible, neither. And it never changes, so and turn this off because you really ain't gonna need to mess with that. Team one can only use this device, so it only works with team one. 
So now you start the game again as, as normal. Just start the game up. Now go out here. See, you still got five generated, zero out of five. Now what you want to do is say the killer's chasing you, right? You need to get away from him. Press this, and it automatically puts you here. As you can see, it automatically puts you right here, which is good. So like, yeah, it's supposed to put you right here. Go right here, and well, there you go. Like, click it. It takes you right here. Now, what I want to do is make it so it can take you to multiple areas at once. Now, if you want to do that to where the point it takes you to multiple areas, like you, every time you use it, it takes you to two. Like, you use one of them, it takes you to one area. You use another, it takes you to another area. That's simple. What you want to do is grab grab the same riff you used. Like I want to, like say I want to teleport right here, right? I put it right here, and then I want to change this to channel three, which is good, right? Do you come over here and grab the button and put it on the next one? Like yeah, like just like this, like put it on the next one and change one thing, change it to channel three, and then start the game. And what you are, what you really want to do is like just the same thing you did with the uh, same one. Like okay, we're about to test this out real quick. All right. Okay, you walk over here to the first button that teleports you in here in the container. Then you go over to the next button. You click that and it teleports you over here on the roof. So as you can see, that works too. So um, yeah. And now, okay, you know, as I said, we will do that next video maybe. But no, I feel like we should do it this video. So um, yeah, I'm gonna show you this video. So what you will want to do is, like, if you want to make the escape route, like when you make a map, if you see, you want to make a make an escape door right here, right? Like. The door that they were use in that game would be like a door that you have to hack and unlock, right? What you would want to do is go over here and grab like any color door. Like make it shape up to right here. Like I know it's like kind of big right now, but you, like, now you want to turn your grid on like to at least eight. Yeah, I believe eight. And what you want to do is like go to like resize and like make it like skinny. Well, I mean, no, it's supposed to be like short. Like, yeah, like make it like at least this short. As you can see, you walk up to the door, right? And it opens, right? Now we're about to change that. So I'm gonna wait for that to close. Get over here. So we gotta make it so it did not enable at the game and enable when we see channel four. And it takes about 10 seconds to open, okay? It enable when we see channel four, okay? And what's gonna happen is we're gonna yeah what's gonna happen is this door can only unlock when you complete the uh, challenge right so the target value is going to be one for now so what it be five we're gonna be one for now this door gonna stay closed when enable see look it says enable when receive from ch from enable when receive from channel one as you can see I mean channel four so what we are gonna do is Look, first we gotta go check how many channels we have, which means we got three channels. Which means we are gonna have to set this to like channel five. It says go all the way down, say so when completed transmit to channel five. And then what you wanna do is go over here and grab like a time device. Now turn your wrist map off like normal. Oh oops, my bad. Get it all right back, okay. So what you wanna do is turn this or turn this device around, bring it all the way to you, turn it around. And put it right here on the door to wherever you feel like you should put it. Make sure it doesn't float. It's, it's supposed to be on the door, but it shouldn't float. Good. Okay, as you can see, it's gonna take 10 seconds to open the door, and it only you gotta activate it, which means it did not enable at the start of the game, which means you gotta make it so it did not enable at the start of the game. You cannot enable it while you're playing because this it ain't, it's not gonna work like that. So what you want to do is find the thing where it says enable at the start of the game or enable at some point. So it might take me some time to find it because like I'm scrolling pretty fast and I might might have passed it a couple of times. It's supposed to say visible during game. 
change that to no. Actually, better yet, just keep it keep it right there. To be honest, we gotta make it so it disabled. All right, now I can. To be honest, I can't really find that other part. Okay, enable and receiving from disable. Okay, um, let's see. Disable when receive from channel 99. So what we're going to do is since so it, it disable when receive from channel 99, which means when you spawn that, make it so when a player spawns, when player spawned, make that on channel 99, I believe, yeah. And then ask for the button. Yeah, see, okay, and, and when the, okay, somebody join, okay. What you should do is make it so like so disable from channel 99 and it's supposed to enable from channel 4 I believe wait let me see what channel channel 5 so enable and receive from channel 5 and we completed hit channel 6 and channel 6 will open this door hold on for channel six so as you can see so okay okay now what you want to do is the last thing is go grab a mutator zone place it right here and make it on player entering zone transmit on the channel 98 okay so he's over there doing whatever yeah one of my friends so this is channel 98 now, which one? The last thing you want to do right now is just make a like grab one of these, right? Place it right here, and it says "In Round One Receive from Channel 98." So that means as soon as you complete the whole thing, it open this door and then it, it'll end the game for you. So let's test this out real quick. All right. So um, you gotta turn on one generator, which really isn't that hard. He's gonna be here for now. So you gotta break it. So as you can see, I broke it. Mission completed, as you can see. Now when the mission got completed, that should have active see, yep, yeah, it activated this. You start it. And when that completed, it will open the door and that will end the game. So uh wait five seconds. I mean, that thing's supposed to be lower though, but okay. Alright, now what we're gonna do is walk away from the door. And walk right back to it. See? As you can see, it opens the door. And say the killer's chasing you. It ends the game. Just like that, everybody. So as you can see, that's how you do it. Thank y'all for watching. This has been a good video. Thank y'all.